Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. All right, so Pixel Experience Plus, that is the ROM we are talking about today. This is a quick install and preview in which we will be doing a step-by-step -step sort of a tutorial to how to install that particular ROM. And then we will have a first look at it. One of my friends, Strange2x, who is a big, big contributor to this particular channel, is also on that ROM and he praises that a lot. So I thought might as well try it and share it with my subscribers. So let's install Pixel Experience and see the first impressions on that. And before we do that, we are trying to get the Pocophone F1 back to the channel with your support. We just need 150 people donating $1 each and later that phone will be given away to one lucky subscriber. So, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, guys, so another day, another video for the K20 Pro. Now, this is not just another ROM. We are talking about one of the best ROMs available for the K20 Pro. I know I've said that for Resurrection and Evo X, but the reason this one is special, not this one. This is Corvus. We are talking about Pixel Experience, and the one that I am going to install is Pixel Experience Plus. Now, as you can see over here, I do have my pen drive or flash drive connected and if we have a look we do have pixel experience plus over here so let's quickly go through the quick install process over here now first things first i would highly recommend you to back up all the information the files that you will need is the latest q vendor for miui 12 india that is miui 12.0.2.0 and you will need the pixel experience plus file you can of course use the f2fs file system if you wish to you know use that you will have to have the fstep file and of course you will need the rom file so first things first you need to make sure you don't have any lock screens or any encryption on the phone and then you just need to go ahead and press volume up and the power button to boot into twrp recovery the one i use over here is orange fox and it works pretty fine for me okay there you go we are booting into orange fox right now so as always we will first do a format data if you wish you can do that so let's go to manage partitions data format data type in yes okay once that is done go to reboot and select recovery and then we will wipe the vendor and all the other files all right so now go to wipe select dalvik cache system vendor data and internal storage so wipe everything now I do this every time I know, but as I mentioned in my previous installs and previews as well, if you want, you know what exactly is the requirement of your ROM, then it's completely fine if you don't and you choose the flashing method of your own. Now we will directly go to the flashing process. So let's select the OTG pen drive over here. And first thing that will flash is the vendor. And then we will flash pixel experience, of course. So these are two big files, almost one and a half to two gigabytes. So it will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. And once the boot logo appears, we will talk about the boot logo and then we will have a quick preview of the ROM. Now remember guys, whenever I do any install and preview for this particular ROM or any ROM for that matter, there is a reason behind that. I mean, I can directly go ahead and, you know, install any ROM, use it for a couple of days and let you know how the feel or, you know, the bugs or whatever it is was the review. But then again, there are OSS based ROMs, there are ROMs which are based on MIUI vendor and there are some files that are needed and so almost every other rom will have something or the other that is specific when it comes to flashing so to me it makes a lot of sense to make an install and preview let you know how to install it or what is the best way to install a particular rom and then maybe use it and give you guys a full review if you think that is a good practice let me know in the comment section all right so as you can see the rom has been flashed we will just wipe the caches we will hit reboot system so the first boot will take anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute this is a flagship device so it doesn't really really take a very very long time and as you can see the plain and simple pixel-esque boot animation over there i think the brightness is way too high but yeah so it's a very very simple boot animation matter of fact uh, k20 pro looks really really good because it does have a full screen and no notch or no punch hole camera 
So with that clean Google logo, it really, really looks nice. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let's wait for it to boot and we'll play around with the ROM. All right, so as you can see, we are on the home screen of Pixel Experience. You do have the Google feed to the left and let's see what the launcher is, home settings. It's a very, very basic Google launcher sort of a thing. Of course, this is a Pixel Experience ROM. Although this is the plus edition that we have. Now, as you can see over here, it says Pixel Experience plus the date of the ROM is 18th of August, of course. The main thing about Pixel Experience is the smoothness because it doesn't really, really come with a lot of functions or a lot of bloatware. Now, I must tell you, this is a plus edition and it does have a few additions in compared to the normal Pixel Experience ROM. For example, let's see over here, the dark theme is available, live display, styles and wallpapers. You do have some customization over here. It's not a ton of customization, but yes, it is there. For example, one thing that I'd like to check in each and every ROM if is, you know, call recording is there or not. Now, as you can see over here, we don't have call recording, but the calling is working just fine. And if you have a look at the camera, now, as I said, Pixel Experience really, really stands for simplicity. And uh, at times it gets way too simple because I, that is not my cup of tea to have a very very simple and basic camera like that but what stands out in custom roms is a look at the number of apps i mean you just have like 5 10 and 4 14 applications so even with 6 gb ram which is not less in the first place you do get a lot of free ram and all the other things so all in all this looks like you know if you want the purest form of android to be used on your k20 pro go for pixel experience even if you use the non plus version go for pixel experience from the first looks of it it looks really really simple and promising i will use this for a couple of days maybe three days as my daily driver as my work phone and then in the full review i will share my thoughts now let me know in the comment section how did you find this video if you like it please like and a sub to the channel would be amazing until the next one this is kalash signing off keep smiling take care Goodbye.